some big racing games have started to land on macOS. Let's take a look at what's on offer for us. For reference, all these games have been played and recorded on a 2018 15-inch MacBook Pro with an external Blackmagic eGPU. So without further ado, here are the best Mac racing games of 2019. Starting at number 7, we have Gravel. On the 18th of January 2019, Mac gaming publisher Virtual Programming released Gravel to macOS. I've already put a few hours into this game now, and I actually enjoy it. Gravel is a decent off-road racing game that is challenging, exciting, and doesn't look too bad either. It doesn't have the most realistic graphics, instead it's more cartoony, but I don't mind. The biggest downside to the macOS version of Gravel is that it requires a very powerful Mac to run. You'll need an Intel Core i5 or better processor, 8GB of RAM, and 4GB of VRAM. For instance, my MacBook Pro with the eGPU connected can only run this game at about 1080p medium settings and gets around 40 FPS. It's completely playable, but as I said, to enjoy this game, you'll need a powerful new Mac with dedicated graphics. Number six, we have Trailblazers. This game reminds me of Splatoon mixed with Wipeout. As you race, you paint the track with your own color. Racing over your color gives you a boost and you can shoot your paint at other racers to knock them out. It's a very unique arcade racer, that is for sure. It also has cross-platform multiplayer. However, there doesn't appear to be many players online, but the split screen mode is super fun and the single player mode is still always good. Trailblazers isn't going to blow anyone away, but it's super fun to just pick up and play and have a good time. One downside is that you have to use a gaming controller to play Trailblazers, like a PS4 controller, that's what I use. It has no keyboard support. Also, this is a fairly demanding game, and it is best played on Macs from 2014 and up, but I can't confirm that, that's a guess. Yeah. Yeah. Number 5 is MXGP3. In late November 2018, Virtual Programming ported MXGP3 to Mac. The only other decent motorbike racing game for ages was Road Redemption. However, thanks to Virtual Programming, this is now the best motorbike racing game on macOS, finally. The gameplay is fun and challenging, and the graphics look top-notch, especially when racing in the mud tracks. Players can race on heaps of tracks in single player or online against other players. You can also customize your bike with over 300 official components. MXGP3 is another very demanding game like Gravel, so it will only work well on new Macs with dedicated graphics. Number four, we have Horizon Chase Turbo. This is a racing game which is heavily inspired by classic 80s and 90s uh, racing titles like Outrun, Lotus, Turbo Challenge, Top Gear, Rush, and many more. It offers tons of content here, such as 12 cups, 48 cities, 109 tracks, unlockable cars, and heaps of upgrades. The racing gameplay is fairly simple, but does offer challenges as each curve in the road and lap you complete is fast paced. Horizon Chase Turbo also offers split screen support across all game modes. There is a version of this game available on mobile devices, but this version is not a mobile port. It has been completely redesigned for a PC experience with more features, enhanced 16-bit graphics, and resolution support for up to 4K. Also, there is a demo of this game available on Steam, and this game isn't demanding at all, which means most Macs can play it. Number three is Dirt 4. Later in 2019, Mac game publisher Feral Interactive are porting Dirt 4 to our platform. On their website, they have not announced anything about the macOS port, i.e. in regards to its macOS requirements, if it will support cross-platform play, it most likely will though, and its official release date. Regardless of this, I am super excited to play Dirt 4, as Dirt 3 was a great game and has sadly been removed from the Mac platform a few years ago. 
I expect it will be very well optimized as it will be utilizing Metal 2, I suppose. So hopefully it can work on some older Mac hardware too. Number two, we have F1 2017. Running F1 2017 on my 2018 MacBook Pro, I couldn't help but notice how gorgeous this game looks and how well optimized it is running at the highest setting and almost reaching 60 FPS. While F1 2017 was released for Mac in late 2017, it is still a great game and deserves to be on this list. Let's hope Feral port F1 2018 or the upcoming F1 2019 to Mac OS in the near future. Remember, F1 2017 is a demanding game, so it's best played on Macs from 2016 and up, or 15 inch MacBook Pros or iMacs with dedicated graphics. And finally, number one, we have Dirt Rally. Thanks to Feral, once again, we have another amazing racing game for us, Dirt Rally. It was ported to Mac in late 2017. The great thing about this game is that most of you can play it as it works on all Macs from 2012 and up. Feral optimized this game so well utilizing Metal and I have to give them props. Running it on my 2018 MacBook Pro, you have to agree that it looks fantastic, amazing. Even on my 2013 MacBook Air, it doesn't look outstanding, but it is acceptable and it runs at a locked 30 FPS. It's very playable. Feral actually automatically sets the performance of Dirt Rally based on your Mac hardware. It's a really, it's great what they've done here. Here is a bonus racing game you might enjoy. If you're looking for a free racing game, look towards Super Tux Kart. It has a very similar gameplay style to Mario Kart. It's super fun, challenging, and will run on any Mac out there. It had a stable release back in late 2017. What do you think of these new racing games? I'm pretty impressed with the quality of racing games we are receiving these days. If you like the video, please leave a like and subscribe if you want to see more content about new Mac games. Thanks for watching. Bye bye.